Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Things are bad, but they're about to get a whole lot worse. If you're the sort of person who likes to come in from work, go to the fridge, pull out a beer and sup on a cold one just to take an edge off, well, that cold one is going to cost a lot more. If you're having friends around and you want to open a bottle of wine, you must consider, are those friends worth it? And the reason is that the minimum unit price of alcohol is going up by a significant amount. It's quite clear that this is not anything targeted at helping drink problem. You know, you have problem drinkers, you have alcoholics and all that. They need as much help as they can get. But that help should be targeted. But by putting this price up, it's quite clear that you're not targeting the problem drinkers. You're targeting all drinkers. It is a desperate tax grab from a government that is failing. They need money, lots and lots of money. And so they're putting the unit price up, pretending it's for public health, but actually it's just to fund their extravagances. Let's take a look at this report and see the frightening amount by which they're raising the minimum unit price. Here goes. So Scots to be hit in the pocket as huge rise in alcohol prices is proposed and booze bosses slam government. Well, of course, when you are putting the prices up by as much as they're proposing, this will undoubtedly have a major effect on retail trade. Uh, people just quite literally will not be able to afford it. The trouble is the, the alcoholics and the problem drinkers will still make sure that they can afford it. And that is money that's coming out of a household budget that might otherwise be spent on children's food. Uh, and it's going into the coffers of the SNP. So quite literally, the SNP are stealing the food from children to fund their failure. It is that simple. But they're punishing everybody. They're punishing every person in the country because there's, because there's problem drinkers that they're not willing to directly target. And what does it achieve? Well, it drives alcohol out of the range of affordability, but people still want the kick, still want the, uh, you know, their little bit of fun with, with something, taking that edge off, if you like. And what do they turn to? They turn to the dealers on the street corners because it's cheaper. And then they wonder why the deaths from substance abuse is so high. It's a direct result of SNP policy. But we've seen how SNP policy looks like it may have killed 5,500 elderly people. We've seen how SNP policy is driving thousands upon thousands of cancer victims to an early death. And now we're seeing how SNP policy is killing young people who are ODing on substances. Is this who the, uh, the SNP are? They are the, the, the destroyers of a nation. They are driving perhaps tens of thousands of people to their death. It doesn't surprise me. It really doesn't. We did the video late last night with the breaking news about uh, the Shipman sisters, uh, Sturgeon and Freeman, uh, being investigated by murder squad, uh, a cold case murder squad, uh, over the deaths of these 5,500 people uh, during the COVID era. We've, we've covered before the cancer rates that are so appallingly bad that so many people are coming forward and by the time they're diagnosed, it's stage four. And that seems to be deliberate because it's cheaper to give palliative care than it is to give actual cancer treatment saving money and it's all down to money with the SNP they are a criminal organization but we have this now uh, and again this will actually end up killing people because they're desperate to raise the taxes all the time so the new price hike it says would be would see a six pack of tenants rise by more than a tenner as industry chiefs hit out at proposals saying it is too much for people during a cost of living crisis. And of course, like I say, they'll stop, they'll stop buying their packs of tenants and they'll go down the road and see the boyo on the corner selling little tabs or whatever he's got. Uh, so Scots are facing even higher drinks prices as part of a plan to raise the minimum unit price of alcohol to 80 pence. Drinks industry bosses have slammed the proposal to raise the minimum price from the current 50p per unit, which was included in the Scottish Government consultation document. The proposal would mean a bottle of whiskey could rise by more than eight pounds and a six pack of tenants, uh, 500 mil lager could go up almost a tenner. Health campaigners last night claimed 
Uh, oh, sorry, could go up to almost a tenner. Health, uh, health campaigners last night claimed the money would help tackle Scotland's continuing alcohol uh, health problems. No, no, it won't. What it will do is it will go to fill in the billion pound plus black hole in the SNP accounts. Uh, and that's before they look at the next billion pounds, which is the building problem that they have. And then the next billion pound after that. And then, of course, you're going to have all the claims that are coming in as well. They are massively, massively troubled by money because the SNP have screwed everything up. And so this isn't uh, a drive to help alcohol or, help or any issues like that. It is purely a cash grab. Uh, anyway, the uh, the move has been criticised by drinks bosses who say it's too much for families already struggling during a cost of living crisis. And here's the thing, that any any money, the extra money they do raise, will probably have to go out in the form of benefits because the drinks industry will have to lay people off. And there'll be people made unemployment, whole families thrown into misery and poverty because of SNP policy. Uh, Hussein Lal, president of the Federation of Independent Retailers, said this could price out those who look forward to a beer or a glass of wine. It would be particularly hard when family budgets are already badly squeezed by the cost of living crisis. Lal added, we can see the argument for increasing the price, which has been in place for five years at a time of inflation. However, over 80p is over the top. The minimum unit price of 50p was introduced in 2018 following legislation backed by the uh, potential killer of 5,500 people, Nicola Sturgeon's SNP yeah. government. A study found the minimum unit price was linked to a 13% drop in the number of deaths from alcohol consumption. But actually, although they say, oh, look, it's 13%, it actually turns out that's actually a really, really small number. Meanwhile, the amount of people uh, affected by it is massive, millions. And here's the thing, the money, uh, it would cost less, put it this way, it would cost less to treat uh, problem drinkers than it would to basically tax the, the rest of the country. But that's, of course, because they're not doing this to help problem drinkers. It's all a major cash grab. The current minimum unit price will expire next year and a review is taking place on its con uh, continuation. A Scottish Government consultation on the new limit was set out to industry groups uh, and set out, they set out a range of options. The options include sticking with the current 50p minimum, reducing the price, as well as increasing the price to as much as 80 pence a unit. If, MU, if the MUP was increased from 50p to 80p, a bottle of famous grouse would increase from, from £14 to £22.40 for a bottle of whiskey. Well, the other thing, of course, is uh, somebody will just grab a white van, won't they? They'll drive down, they go into the... Uh, the, the Sainsbury's in Berwick or the Sainsbury's in uh, Carlisle and they'll fill the van up and they'll drive back home and they'll be happy and they'll make a lot of money because they'll sell it. Easy days, lovely. You're basically bringing in prohibition by the back door in Scotland and we all know that prohibition fails. Now you're not doing the outright ban of course but you're making it so expensive that the, uh, the booze runners will make a fortune, the illegals will make a fortune Criminal, the crime, the crime will go up massively and it won't help the families of problem drinkers. It will make life worse for them because those problem drinkers will still find the money. And it's children's food. Well done, SMP. Take food from the mouths of children. I'm coming up. When it comes to bad ideas, the SMP seem to have a lot of them. Virtually everything they do turns out to be a bad idea. And that's because they don't play the game of consequences. They don't sit and look at, if we do this, what will happen? They sit and go, oh, look, we do this, we can get in lots of money. And they don't look beyond that. They don't say, what will happen to these families? What will happen to that person? What will happen to society? What's gonna to happen to the jobs of the people in the industry? They don't look at consequences, for them consequences don't exist but consequences are real and consequences affect real people and make their lives miserable doesn't bother the SNP they have one goal and that's it they don't care they just don't care anyway I shall stop there thank you very much for watching if you like what you see here on the channel please hit the subscribe button hit the like leave a comment Please share the video and until next time, stay safe, stay well. And if you want a beer, just go down to England and buy them much cheaper. Bye.